Hi everybody, this is Roxy and I have a project. I have to make our annual Christmas invitations for our neighborhood Christmas party. So this year I'm going to use some punches I got from Yeezy Crafts. Um, they've got some fun craft items on their um, site. And um, they've offered me a discount code for all my subscribers. So um, I'll put that in the the description link below. So I'm going to use the circle and the star or the heart punches and I've um, not used these yet so I'm not sure but I did take off those plastic things they drive me nuts. I don't know why people put them on there but anyways. So I take them off because otherwise you got to pull it out and get the thing out. Nee, 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 nee. So I already took those off in preparation. So I'm going to fold my card base. And I'm going to make these just like my gift bags. Um, I made some tree ones and some ornament ones. And I'm just going to make the gift bag ornament style ones. Got this all set up. And I'm using my Kaleida color. This is pretty old. And when you store it, you need to, you don't want to store it this way. You want to keep the felt away. So now that I'm going to use it, I can close her up. And I'm going to do this. You, with these, you don't want to go over, you want to, when it's this way, you know, it's uh, vertical like that, you want to go this way on your stamp and then move over and do the rest of it. You don't want to go over all the colors because it's going to transfer to the pads. Just stay as straight as possible. And then I gotta do the rest of it. There we go. down here a little bit more. Sometimes I squeeze it too. The misty. And this is a stamp I got at Hobby Lobby. It was on clearance. And it's stuck to my calculator. Um, it's from Hero Arts from 2015, but I took it off of this because it's a little hard for me with my hand problem. It's a lot of hard for me to, you know, like really hold on to this. So I take the rubber piece off, which is easily, you know, just carefully pull it off. And then I put it, I mount it on um, mounting foam. And if anybody needs information on that, just let me know down below. Alright, so that's done. I'm just gonna clean that off later. Alright, then I'm gonna do my little balls. Just punch out some balls. Ooh, these are nice. Very easy, because you know my thumb is bad. Those are really nice. I'm pleased as punch. Oh shoot, I didn't do that good. 
I've missed some of it. Okay. That would be cute. Alright, and then maybe maybe that one. Oh, I want to do a heart though. So I'm just going to go like this. So that'll be cute to do the heart in the middle. So, we'll get these glued on. Great way to use your scraps and they're really fun. So um, I'm just gonna do kind of a whimsical meandering string. And I remembered that I have this bow punch, which is awesome. for the um, ornament toppers. I think this is EK, yeah, EK success. This is super easy. And you don't have, I thought it'd be nicer to do um, the colorful words only because the stamp is so huge you know the size of it is so big that it might have been a little too overpowering with the little balls and if you don't have a Kaleida color you can always just use markers like distress or zig or whatever So we're going to do a little bit of um, scribblies. I think I'll do pink. Maybe blue. That's our invitation. So, I hope you give the scrap ornaments. They're so cute. I love how they turn out. 
And you don't even have to do the silver glitter bow. I just happen to have that punch. You can always just draw. You can even use like a speaker pen or a silver or gold marker and do a little bow. Or just a black one too. Doesn't matter. So there's our invitation this year. Thanks for watching. Bye.